and welcome back to Gapey's Greenhouse Jungle. So I had, I just posted a, a pepper update the other day, but I wanted to post another one showing what I did here in the greenhouse. I did a lot of pruning in here, so it looks, you can, might be able to tell it looks a little bit um, different, not quite as jungly as it was before. And you can see the pods a lot easier. So what I did, and I, I do this every year around this time of the year, at the end of the season, is I prune off the tips of all the pepper plants. You can see where I've I've pruned a lot of these back. So I want I do that so that it, it, the plant it puts more energy into growing out the fruit that it's already set, and not so much in putting out new pods. So I try I don't prune off every flower in here, but I do prune it prune back pretty heavily. Um, because anything that's setting pods right now is probably not going to mature before we get too cold of a weather. So we probably will start getting freezing temperatures in the next month or two. And also somebody mentioned that I forgot to show the Freeport Scotch Bonnet. So I wanted to show you that one in this video. It's got some really interesting color, color pods. It's a kind of an, an orange orange peach color um, but we've got quite a few pods set back in here and also lots of ripe ones starting to set um, now these hotter peppers I don't eat those fresh because they're just too hot I don't have um, the palate some of the pepper people have so these these would light me up pretty good so what I do with all of my hot peppers is make sauces and um, powders out of them and yesterday I actually made a jam out of the fatalis. So the fatalis are back here. Um, so here's a fatali. This is the red variety of fatali. There's also a yellow variety, I believe, but I haven't tried that one yet. So I put four of these guys into four pounds of plum, and it, it seems to be a pretty good amount of heat, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. But I just wanted to show you those. The only one I didn't really trim too much is the one back here in the corner because it's just started setting pods. I did trim back a few branches there, um, but it still has quite a few on it. I'll probably prune it back some more in the next few days. But yeah, we've got lots and lots of pods that are getting some color and we'll be ready to harvest here pretty soon so we'll be making lots and lots of hot sauce look at all these guys this one is this is the Vitali too so Vitali is doing really really well that's probably might be my most productive of the hot peppers just loaded down with pods very nice and then I mentioned in the last video my least productive plant is this gator jigsaw so I, I probably won't even get any pods because the ones that are set are just really, I mean, you can see it's, they're just soft, which is not um, how they're supposed to be. Even this one here, this is probably the biggest one, but they're just, the pods are soft. So I don't think I'll be getting any of those. And then also somebody told me that the Elysium Scotch Bonnet that I mentioned was turning red. There actually is... Um, a variety of Elysium Scotch Bonnet that is supposed to turn red, I guess. Um, it seems kind of weird, but that, and they also said that the red one is more, um, at least it tastes better than the, the rusty colored one. We've got some really nice pods set here. This is a really good one. This one has a little bit of a tail on it. So does this one. So the shape is really neat on these. A few tails um, but so maybe I will go ahead and save some seeds on that because some people seem to be interested in getting some of those from me so another tail there but yeah this one is actually really productive as well lots of pods all right just wanted to give you that quick update and show you how it looks after I've done the trim and that's all I wanted to show Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.